Welcome back to the next video in our series on how to create a professional e-commerce site using WordPress, WooCommerce, and the WooStore theme. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your blog page, your contact us page, and uh, suggest, suggest a couple other pages that you want to get set up um, before you uh, launch your e-commerce um, WordPress site. Uh, this is the test site that we're building, WooCupTees.com. We've been building this site from start to finish. In the last video, we went ahead <clears throat> and set up some of our uh, our right-hand uh, sidebar here with the, in the widget section. I, we touched on widgets, um, and uh, the video before that, we touched on the homepage featured image slider right here. Um, we do have a few products out on the site right now. Uh, currently, four test products. So. The site's starting to come together and look more like uh, an actual e-commerce site. Um, so what we need to do though now is we need to set up um, a blog page. Let's start by doing that and then we'll set up our contact page. So let's start with the blog page. Let's go ahead and log into our WordPress admin. And we're just going to go ahead and go to pages and we're going to create a new page. So we're going to click on add new and you'll see it's very simple to create. Um, a blog page. So I'm just going to call this blog. Um, you could call it maybe, you could call it whatever you want, but in this case I'm just going to call it blog. Um, and then on the right, if I scroll down over here to the, on the right hand side, you'll see template. I'm going to go ahead and select from the drop down the blog template. Okay. And I don't need to do anything else. Uh, just simply click publish. And then if we go back out to the site, we should see a blog page show up in our navigation up here. And then each post, there we go, there's blog. So if I click on the blog page, we should see that initial um, hello world, there we go, blog or post that's there by default each time you install WordPress. So now we have a blog page set up, so every time we create a new post just like we would with a normal WordPress blog by going into here into our WordPress admin and going to posts and add new. So you just create a new blog post just like you would normally with a normal WordPress um, blog and then it would show up on your blog page right here. I suggest going to, uh, creating um, at least one blog post before actually launching the site. Uh, maybe just a post about uh, welcome to our new site, here's what we're all about, that kind of stuff. But definitely create at least one or two blog posts before you actually launch um, your site. So again, just to recap, creating a blog page, uh, a blog is as simple as creating a new page by going into pages, add new, and then <clears throat> simply selecting from the drop down. Let's go back and show you that real quickly. Um, the under template select so here's the blog page that we created if I go and edit that simply select under template blog and go ahead and publish the page and now every post that you create will show up on the blog page so now you've created a blog uh, next step you want to create a contact us page so let's go ahead and do that right now so Again, just go into Pages and then Add New. And then I'm just going to call this Contact. And then again under Templates over here on the right hand sidebar, go ahead and select the Contact Form from the drop down. So we have Contact Form selected under Templates. I'm calling the page Contact. I'm going to go ahead and click Publish. Okay, and there's one more step now to the contact page setup. So I've created the contact page. Um, I've selected under templates contact form. Next, the, the last thing I need to do is go to Woo Store and then Theme Options. And on this Theme Options page, I'm going to insert an email address that I want the contact form to go to. So under General Settings, okay, so we're under Woo Store, Theme Options, General Settings. Go to subscription settings, and in this text box here, the contact form email. Enter the email address that you want the contact form to go to when somebody somebody submits a question or a comment. 
via the contact form. So I would go ahead and just enter uh, you know, an email address here. Whatever it is, whatever email address you want uh, to receive uh, contact form uh, inquiries from, uh, at, go ahead and enter that there. And then just click Save Changes. And now if we go out to the site and we refresh the page, we should see a contact page show up in the navigation. There we go. And uh, if we click on the contact page, there's our contact form. Um, so it's that simple. Anytime somebody submits a question through this form, it'll be sent to the email address that we just configured, that we just told it to go to. Um, there is another option too. If you don't want to use the built-in contact form, uh, there's a bunch of plugins that you could use for contact forms. Um, I like Easy Contact, the Easy Contact plugin. I highly recommend, and um, you know that's another option if you want to go that direction. But there, just know that there is a contact form option already built into the WooCommerce uh, plugin to the WooStore theme, uh, and it's that simple to set up. So, and it also, if you wanted to make you know the contact for, uh, page a sub page of like about, you could just go in here and then go to pages. So, if you didn't want it to take up so much room in the top navigation, uh, you just go to edit and then just make it a child page of another page. So, under parent, you know I can make it a child of the about page, and then if we go ahead and update that and then refresh the page here we should see that the contact page now becomes a child or a drop down underneath the about page and there we go so if you hover over about there's a contact that shows up and that's just if you don't want to take up too much room in the top navigation um, okay so now we have a blog page Each, every one of our posts will now uh, show up um, on, the, on this blog page we have a contact page um, I would also suggest adding like a uh, frequently asked questions page, similar to what I have um, on this website. You can see right here I've created an FAQ page. Um, you know that just covers. This is a, another T-shirt site. Um, just covers frequently asked questions. Obviously, uh, a good idea to have that with an e-commerce site and FAQ uh, page. Um, one other thing I want to show you is. If you want to change the order uh, of how you know your pages show up in your top navigation, you can simply do that by installing a plugin um, called Page Mash. It's one word, P-A-G-E-M-A-S-H. Just go to plugins and uh, search for that and then install it. It's a free plugin, and then go ahead and activate Page Mash. Once that's activated, it'll show up under Pages. And what this allows you to do, if I click on Page Mash, you'll see that you can change the order of uh, your top navigation and how it shows up. And you can also hide pages. So you can see I have a bunch of pages that I've hidden that I don't want to show up in the navigation, uh, but are necessary to that are necessary to work for with uh, WooCommerce, but I don't want them to show up. So I've hidden those, and you can see which pages I've hidden. Now, if I wanted to change the order, for example, if I wanted my shop page to show up right here next to the home page, I can do that using Page Mash by simply dragging and dropping it up to the top. Okay, and then just go ahead and click Update here. And you'll see database has been updated. And if I go back out to the site and I refresh the page, we should see shop show up right here there we go so that's how you can change the uh, rearrange the order I guess um, of your pages and how they show up out on the site and like I said it as well you can also hide pages that you don't want to show up in the navigation and again that plugin is um, called page mash one word and it is free and if you go to plugins and search for it um, install and activate it it'll automatically show up in here and then you just go ahead and uh, order your pages however you want. So that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to touch on some of the uh, available WooCommerce extensions. Um, we're going to finish up this site, worldcuptees.com, 
and um, and then I'm going to make a, a few more videos that show you how to do specific things, uh, such as um, change this, uh, uh, change the footer links. Uh, by default, you'll see that Woo Themes, uh, powered by WordPress, designed by Woo Themes, shows up. I'll show you how to change that to whatever you want to. Uh, probably you want it to go to links or link to pages up within your own website instead of going off to WordPress and to Woo uh, Themes. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, we'll do some testing. I'll show you how to test your shopping cart and make sure it's working um, before actually launching um, your new e-commerce site. So uh, stick with us for that. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com and we'll see you on the next video.